Hey guys, Jason Collins. We're chasing homes with manufacturedhomes.com and I have got something that is not only exciting, but it is literally hot off the presses. We are at Seiko 22 in Stone Mountain, Georgia, and I just visited with some of the Clayton team and let me tell you what they've got here. This home that you see behind me right here is their Tempo series. And this, what's exciting about this is this is a limited option home and it is really designed for the digital purchasing wave that I really feel like is about to hit the manufactured housing industry. Clayton is doing some kiosk options so people can actually go in, look at the various options that are available and actually make home purchases uh, through virtual reality. It's a pretty interesting deal. We're gonna dive in. We're gonna take a tour of this home so you guys can kind of see what some of the options and stuff that are available. Super nice looking home. Stay tuned, we're gonna jump right in. All right guys, so here we are in the Tempo line of manufactured homes. This is something brand new by Clayton. This particular home right here um, is being manufactured at several different facilities across the United States. And I wanna to explain to you why that is important. In manufactured housing, because the homes are built in a factory and then shipped to retail locations, one of the limiting factors has always been geography, right? It costs money to ship a home from the factory to the retail location. The further you get from the factory, the more expensive it is to ship that home. So what Clayton has done is they have come up with a series of floor plans with some limited options, right? We're not talking about 15 different countertop uh, countertop cabinet flooring configurations. We're talking about some limited things here, right? We're only dealing with a few options and we'll look at those in just a minute. And we're only dealing with some limited floor plan options. But what that does is this, it allows them to standardize production so that the same home can be built in Paris, California or Rockwell, North Carolina. And each one of these factories is covering a specific geographic region. So if you're in you know, if you're in Las Vegas, Nevada, okay, and you want to purchase the Freebird, you're guaranteed that that home is gonna be built the same at the Paris, California factory as it is at the Rutledge, Tennessee factory or the Rockwell, North Carolina factory or any factory that's carrying this product. So what that does is, is it causes standardization. Now, what does standardization mean for a retail customer? Basically what that means is, that you have the availability of taking advantage of manufacturing savings so that it really keeps the price point down on that. So if you look at each home is going to have the same list of standard specs over here. Okay, things that you would expect to see, eight foot flat ceilings, tape and texture throughout, two by four exterior walls. And we'll take a look at that the reason that we're doing two by four exterior walls is because these homes are in what would be considered the southern zone. If we move up here, um, you're gonna see more two by six homes, um, but that doesn't really apply to this. So um, once again, two by four exterior walls, Duracraft cabinets. Um, the cabinets are really nice cabinets, and we'll take a look at those and some of the options. LED recessed lighting, now what does that mean? Well, you know, that means you're gonna be spending less money on electricity because obviously LEDs are more energy efficient than incandescent or fluorescent fiberglass tubs. So we've got a nice list of standard options that are available, quick set door hardware throughout. And I looked at the doors earlier and they are the smart key thing from quick set. So you can have, you can change the keying of your lock without having to call a locksmith and get involved in that. And then options. And this is where it becomes really interesting because the options are limited yet they're pretty neat so you've got two exterior color options you've got seven in uh, i'm sorry two interior color options seven exterior color options and then you can take a look at the other things that are available let's take a quick walk through this home give you guys an opportunity to sort of really get a a, a feel for what we're dealing with here this is that solid fiberglass tub. And for those of you who know, the reason that I like the solid fiberglass is because you don't ever have to worry about 
having to recock or reseal this edge that goes around here. That's one piece that does a really good job of eliminating moisture infiltration where three piece or five piece tub surrounds uh, sometimes will leak. Let's pull this back so you don't see my goofy self. Just like that. Popping in here, this is a three bedroom option. Um, they've got this down on the floor here. We're gonna pop down. I think this is, this, is, this is something that we need to talk about. The Tempo series, and Clayton has got what they call the Tempo Portal that's gonna be showing up soon at Clayton uh, retail locations. Get an accurate quote in minutes, download model images and renderings, print a quote, and request order PDFs dashboard to view options and order requests and av ability to quote other select Clayton built models from the same site. So Clayton's doing a really good job of diving into the digital age. And this Tempo thing is one, is their, I guess, first offering uh, where this is concerned. I'm gonna pop through here and give you guys a look at the this is one of the things people have commented on, the green island, and I think it's worth mentioning that that color is super nice, and it is only available for the island. Here we have the kitchen cabinet options, stainless steel, commercial type range hood, all the way down there, stainless steel sink, dishwasher, and that flows right into the pantry and utility area. Space for full-size washer and dryer. Obviously open concept floor plan. We see that almost exclusively anymore. Um, I think it's great. The family can stay connected even when they're in different rooms. Honestly, pretty nice master suite that we've got here. Spacious, certainly big enough for king-size bed, bedside tables, dresser, whatever you need to do there. And into the master bath. Again, solid fiberglass shower surround. I really like the fact that we're seeing closets with outdoors. And all that does is just a space saving feature. If you have closet doors, they have to have somewhere to swing. And if you don't have closet doors, you're not giving up that floor space to a closet door. His and her sink, again, shower, and then the business center. Let's take a look at some of the cabinet options that we have. I can grab my shoes and All right, so as I mentioned before, the Tempo series, I'll spin this around so you guys can take a look at it. Brand new from Clayton, we are at the Seiko 22 show in Stone Mountain, Georgia, and this home, I'm gonna pop this up real quick for you. This home is, it's, this is literally their, their first showing of this home. So this is, you guys are getting first look, okay? at the Tempo series. So let's take a look at what options are available. And like I said, these are, this is an interesting concept. And this is designed for simplicity of ordering. 
because they're doing, they're, you know, they're gearing this toward this sort, whole sort of kiosk model. Let me try to get this where you guys can, oh, hang on here, gimbal, get right. Okay, so we talked about what options are available. For cabinetry in here, you've just got a couple of options that are available, right? We talked about um, this green is only available on the island. The kitchen that we're, that we're in here has the Bishop Oak raised panel uh, cabinet option, and then you've got an off-white and a black option. So we move over and take a look at what flooring options are available. I'm a huge fan of solid surface flooring throughout. This one's got Leno front to back. You've got several options here on that. And then you've also got a carpet option. So that really, that's all the options that are available for, um, you know, sort of the inside of the house. And, you know, making, making, um, making that simple is gonna do a couple of things. It's gonna save the consumer money because factories can standardize the fewer adjustments they have to make at the factory, the better off it's going to be for retail uh, for retail customers and price points and stuff like that. So this is the Tempo line. Guys, this is by Clayton. This is brand new. This is first look stuff. We're here at the show. We're making sure that we're bringing you guys the information that you want in a timely manner. And I'm pretty excited about this because this is, let's pop this up again. This is a super, this is a super neat little house. Um, and you know, it's available in a, in my belief, an emerging technology, a way that people are gonna be buying homes in the future. All right, guys, we're taking a look at the outside of the Tempo by Clayton. Once again, this is a pretty interesting product that they've got. Look, I really like the wide vinyl lineals. Obviously, we've got vinyl clad windows. That's pretty much standard low E glass, makes it, Cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. The good old Dutch lap vinyl siding. Nothing really shocking about the outside here. Um, you know, these are gonna be homes that are designed to meet, um, you know, first home. Uh, you know, I think the market on this is probably gonna be millennials who understand that, you know, you upgrade phones, you upgrade homes. Uh, it's just a sort of a new concept. So once again, guys, I'm Jason Collins. We're chasing homes with manufacturedhomes.com. This is a super cool idea. If you like the content that you see us producing, do us a favor, help me help you. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Is the time right for sort of online purchasing of homes. Purchasing homes the same way that we do televisions or shoes or whatever. Like, you know, is the, is the time right for online ordering of homes or do we need that human interaction of doing it at a retail location? I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of excited about this. Um, you tell me, you tell me what you think. Would you purchase this home or another home like it, if you could just do it all online, have it, have it basically uh, delivered and set up like that. Again, you know, it's an interesting concept. I think it's probably the direction that the industry is going to be moving to eventually, but I want your feedback on it. Tell me what you think. If you like this content, let me know about that. We want to produce things that you want to see. I'm Jason Collins. We're Chasing Homes. We'll see you next time.